continues this morning with members of the world's oldest commissioned naval vessel, the USS Constitution, visiting Vanguard Prep School today. This is so awesome. and They're so talented. Crew members will be reenacting the ship's history and a sailor himself in a previous life. Our very own Jamie Kennedy is live at the school. Good morning, Jamie. Take it away. Looking good, buddy. In 1797 at the Edmund Park Shipyard. <laughs> good morning, Chris today's. and Heidi. It, it is true. A uh, long time ago, I did used to be a bit of a sailor, so it's really cool to meet uh, all of these people out here for Navy Week. And I'm joined by Daniel Hensley, who's a Navy Airman. Good morning, Daniel. How are you? Good morning. I'm great. How are you? Very well, thank you. Now, we see USS Constitution on your hat. We've got all you guys in the background giving us a little bit of a demonstration. Can you tell us a little bit about what you guys do? So we actually go around to the country uh, on these Navy Weeks, and we uh, we go to schools, we go to YMCA, we go and we talk to the, the public. Uh, we do color guards, things like that, that uh, allow us to do a lot of public interaction uh, and kind of get the, the name of the Navy out there and also uh, the ship, the Constitution, one of the oldest commissioned warships afloat uh, still in the world. Um, that's kind of that's kind of what we do uh, still is to, to really express that heritage and uh, and all those things that, that, that come with it. So, so in terms of uh, we're talking about an old ship, you guys really try and get true to life when you're on there. What am I holding up here and is it tasty? What's your holding there is a ship's biscuit or a twice baked yeastless bread. One of the things that they would have uh, carried on the ship, it was very easy to preserve. They could have just pulled barrels and barrels of that onto the ship. Would have lasted a long time. Uh, it's got the consistency of about a hockey puck, so it's not very tasty. You would have to have something uh, like water or some sort of soup broth to, uh, to kind of uh, break it up a little bit to eat, um, but yeah, it's it's definitely uh, one of the things they would eat mostly. Um, very, yeah. <laughs> very interesting, especially the hockey type puck. But your guys are giving us a little bit of a demo back there, so we're going to step off and just let them go ahead. But we weren't. We're just using very strong weather only available here in the United States, which is the light bulb. That's awesome. Can we go into uh, the importance of holy stone and where the, how that was used for the meetings? Yeah, so uh, the men on board ship, more, more like the seamen like myself, will be on the deck scrubbing the wood to preserve it. Uh, so it'll be all along the deck, the spar deck, uh, the gun deck. So it'll be on your hands and knees every day, putting in water, rubbing the uh, holy stone on board on top of the wood to keep it uh, preserved in the salt water. As you preserve so there we are, the guys. Wood. Lots and lots to learn about there. Really cool stuff that the USS Constitution do. Make sure you come out and check out where these guys are on KCNTV.com. Maybe you can even get to taste a hockey puck or two. But now it's back to you, Chris and Heidi. Yeah, that thing looks delicious. Just don't throw it at us, Jamie. It might injure me. Yeah, so it's a little hard. Yeah, zing. All right, careful.